I'm happy to see you, brother. I hope you did not find it hard to locate this place. No, brother. How can I forget your place? <laughs> <laughs> well, let's pray. Father, I bless your name. For the visitor, Brother Benjamin, I thank you for leading him here safely. I pray for your Holy Spirit to be in the midst of all what we are going to discuss about. May we be exemplary leaders to the people we are leading. I prayed and I believe in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus. Amen. Let me bring you water. Thank you, brother. Well, I'm here to learn more about the upcoming church program that the pastor told us about to prepare for. Can you tell me more about it? Well, I'm still seeking for God's guidance about it, and soon I'll let you know, guys. By the way, how is your fiancée? Oh, oh, she, she's okay. <laughs> but we have taken long without seeing each other. You mean you guys don't meet? Oh, no, brother. It is very dangerous to meet privately. Most especially in a place like this. And I fear to sin against God. Oh, I see. I want to share with you a story of a rich man who was giving out food during COVID session. A story? Okay. During COVID-19, there was a rich man in Jinja who was giving out food to people. But on one condition, for a person to qualify to be given food, the rich man had to send his servants to your home and search to see whether you don't have food. Because this food was intended for people who lacked and not for those who wanted to take advantage of it. So, during the session, there was a certain local council chairperson who also came to ask for food from the rich man. People did not know that the rich man was an angel sent from heaven. So this local council chairperson made sure that he hide all the food he had so that when the servants come, they, they don't find anything. And he succeeded in doing it. When the, the chairperson came, before saying anything, the rich man told him all about hiding the food because this rich man could read all people's minds. Unfortunately, the local council chairperson was thrown outside the gate by the servants. Was the rich man fair to throw the chairperson outside the gate? If at all it was me, a rich guy, I would have thrown him to the jail for a hundred years, even more. The chairperson we are talking of right now is you. You did not lie to me, but to the Holy Spirit. The Spirit of God is a seal for the date of our redemption. And the God we serve sees everything we do, and even those people we hide in the dark.
we have sinned against God, Benjamin. Kindly pray for us that God may have mercy on us. watching the video till the end hope you learned a lot from this video just in case you're here consider subscribing to our channel because this channel is here to help you to grow as a content creator and even to earn some good money out of your craft and if you're a christian outside there and you really want to watch christian movies this is a channel for you go ahead and share and do not make a mistake not to share this video in case you're a couple there you're new and you're going to move in very soon you, you are in engagement make sure that whenever you're going to meet with your partner at least you meet not in private places but meet publicly go to public places if you're going to a private place at least you should go with a friend because the devil is out there waiting to devour you my friends but as always do not forget that the kingdom of heaven is near so what we have to do is to repent see you in the next one bye bye